Okay, Applause Boot Camp, YouTube family, friends. This is Mike Sneed coming to you again. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I'm going to give YouTube a few minutes to let, uh, send out notifications, let everybody know that we're here. I'm going to actually put the, uh, if you would like to call in tonight, I'm going to put the actual call in in the chat here. So you, uh, you, you'll be able to call in if, uh, if you like. Uh, let me see here. Okay, they're going to uh, call in if you would like to call in. Uh, the information is in the chat. Uh, once again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Um, if you hadn't, if you don't know already, we we have the hands-on live event. Uh, we have. Uh, Right now, we're going to have, let me get this back up to where it should be. Uh, we're going to have uh, uh, August the 15th and 16th, and we also have August the 22nd and 23rd. So we got two days uh, up where you can actually go and actually schedule uh, for the hands-on live event. If you're somebody who's making payments um, with a payment plan, you have to be paid in full before you actually register for the hands-on live event. Um, but uh, we have those two dates. We got August the 15th and 16th and August 22nd and 23rd. And uh, you can go ahead and schedule. And um, I'm going to hold those two dates uh, for right now. Uh, see how things go with the, uh, with the uh, coronavirus like nobody thinks. It's saying much about that nowadays. And even with the climate that we're having right now. Um, uh, see how things go. See, uh, we'll do those two dates and then we'll see, see where it goes from there. Uh, this past weekend, we had the SEAL system webinar. Uh, I felt like it went very well. I, I, I actually learned a whole lot during that course. I want to thank WWHVAC again for actually uh, uh, coming in and actually helping us with that course. He gave us a lot of knowledge, uh, uh, gave us a lot of tips, even helped us out with actually how to build out uh, through uh, with SEAL systems um, with the third party warranty companies, how you actually uh, build out everything. Um, it was very good. I, like I said, I learned a lot. I learned a lot during that course. Uh, he helped me even with some of my um, with, with with some of my uh, actual uh, craftsmanship with skill skill system. How how um, how I actually do some things. He gave me t um, pointers also uh, because he he does this all the time um, and does it a lot. Um, he was very good with with the brazen with the. Uh, how, how to actually uh, check in for leaks and stuff. He gave us a lot of good information. Uh, that webinar, I'm breaking it up and actually uh, editing it now, and I should have it up before the end of the week, um, for, and it'll be on Teachable. Um, you know, that, uh, that course is, is right at about six hours. Unfortunately, with Teachable, I can't put the whole, uh, I can't put the whole, uh, the whole uh, six-hour uh, video up. They only let me break it up into small, uh, uh, about 10, no more than 10 to 15 minute uh, actual uh, segments. So I got to break it up and then put it up on, on Teachable. Once we get it up on Teachable, I'm going to make some of the changes and edits that we talked about uh, on Saturday. Um, then you'll be able to purchase the course. If you like to purchase the course before it goes up and before we get all the final edits and cuts in, uh, somebody who... Uh, who might necessarily already do appliance repair, but they want to know SEAL system, you'll get the whole course and you'll also get the webinar that we've done. Um, right now, um, I'm going to put it on sale for 200 uh, if you want to buy a pre um, after uh, after we get everything up. And uh, I got a couple more things I need to add into the actual course itself. Uh, once we get everything in there, it's going to be selling for about four or $500. So um, if you want to get in and get the uh, SEAL system course, um, we're going to pre-sell it for two. And once we get everything, um, all the edits and cuts in, um, it should be going for like four or five. So um, I have that starting going pre-sale probably tomorrow. All right. Uh, also, uh, I, I, um, I wanted to tell everybody too, uh, last week I, I, I made a statement um, uh, about the, the, the so-called protesters, the, the young guys going out with their cell phones and, and picket signs, uh, that I wouldn't go out there like that. Um, I'll be honest, I, I have a newfound respect for, for the video gamers and also the skateboarders. 
Um, I, those guys, uh, I didn't know that they had as much heart as they did, and they uh, they really surprised me uh, out there. Um, uh, the amount of heart and and the way that um, how they actually took everything that the uh, that the that the police gave to them. You know, they, they took them. They they ate the mace. They ate the rubber bullets. They uh, they the tear gas. They you know they took the uh, 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 the bombs that uh, they, they threw out there. They they took all of that and and gave 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 a lot of it back to them too. So uh, uh, those group of guys, I, I I got newfound respect for them. And uh, that's kind of what led me up to what we're going to be talking about today. This is something that a lot of people not going don't talk about, but as business owners, we got to have adult conversations, and we got we got we got to talk about these things because we do have a responsibility as business owners in climates like this that we uh, we 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 have a role that we have to uh, play. And uh, and when you having protests like this, there's a lot of different a uh, lot of different people. There's a lot of different characters in, in this thing. Um, unfortunately, sometimes for African Americans, and this this right here, not saying you have to be on one side or the other. If you want to be, uh, you know, it, it ain't. I'm not telling you what side you should be on. I'm not telling you uh, 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 who's right or who's wrong. Um, that's up to you to to decide. You know, as as a business owner, it's on you. You decide which side you want to play on, and that's who you play on. I, I don't do that. Uh, uh, as business owners, you get to choose, and you 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 handle yourself accordingly, and you you go that way. Um, but right now, I'm kind of talking towards the African American community, and even with the African uh, American community, you still choose who, what side you want to be and where you want to, what side you want to you want to play uh, play on. Um, nobody can take that right from you, and that's that's your response. That's 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 your right to choose. Um, but we have to know that it's a bunch of different players out here. Um, you know, you're going to have the protesters, um, which we need. Those are the sociable people, nonviolent people who actually walk out there with the signs and, 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 and try to be reasonable and, 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 and try to be uh, uh, courtesy to everybody and, and do things the right way. Um, you, you, you need to have those people and you send those people out there first. Uh, you want to show that side first. They say, hey, uh, we want to be nonviolent. We want to, uh, we want to, uh, we want to. We, we just want to talk and, and get our get our things heard, uh, but once uh, once when you, once you get out there and 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 the other side decide, hey, we don't want to hear your what you're saying, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get physical and start pushing on you and uh, and, and spraying you with mace and and throwing tear gas and stuff on you, because um, we, we just ready for you to leave. Um, then you then you have to have those soldiers that, that, that you're seeing popping up. Uh, these soldiers are the ones that's popping up, throwing the rocks, uh, breaking the glasses, um, uh, doing all this other crazy. Uh, people saying it's crazy, but doing all this other stuff to, to let them know that, hey, uh, you can either talk to the, the first person that we send out or you can deal with me when I come out because uh, I'm coming out second. And um, when I come out second, then there's going to be some consequences. And we saw that with the uh, with the people who protested a couple of days, uh, a couple of weeks before. The first time they went out, they sent the, the social people out, the protesters, and they went out there and they wanted to reopen up the uh, economy and stuff. And the police done them the same way, kind of pushed them around and, and, and threw them in jail and and, 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 and kind of you know, roughed them up a little bit. Uh, the, the next day, uh, the guys came out with their AR-15s, rocket launchers and all that. And got in the police face, and the police kind of stood back and and, and and acted accordingly with them. Um, unfortunately, with dealing with us, a lot of times we never had that we never had that factor in our in our uh, in our in our group where we had somebody who was a strong arm that would actually go out there. Um, we knew that we needed that, and we knew that that was a possible that we had to have it. But unfortunately, uh, a lot of us. We were just too afraid, to be honest. We were just too afraid that when we went out there, that they were going to start shooting you, they were going to kill you, and you just wanted to be nice and just show them, hey, I'm not no threat. Uh, just, just uh, let's 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 talk about it. And they knew it wasn't no threat. Now they realize that, hey, uh, these guys, this next generation that's behind us, they're a threat. And and not only are they a threat, 
but they're 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 out for business and it's not gonna it's not like it was back in in the old days and and it's kind of right now it's getting to the point where we got a got a break where we got the the 35 and older crowd uh which is including myself where we have to get to the point where we gotta step aside and we gotta say hey uh i'm not uh i had my chance to, to, to handle it the way i supposed to you know when i was growing up when i was going to freak nick uh, when the police was pushing us and, 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 and closing off the, the exit so you couldn't get into the city, uh, making you have to drive. When I was going to Myrtle Beach to Bike Week and the police was going there and, and closing the city off and making us drive uh, two hours out the way and not letting us go into scripts and, and closing all the restaurants and, and pushing us and, and, and locking us up uh, for, uh, and, and just taking $500 off of everybody. Uh, we knew that was wrong, um, but we we didn't we never we never fought back. Um, the way we fought back, we just said we weren't going to go. Uh, and even though we said we weren't going to go, we uh, we out uh, no we 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 was under the impression that oh I'm, I'm just going to pull my resources from them. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you know with them that's what they wanted because you know hey you know for for many of years they didn't want our resources anyway. We had to fight to make them take our money. So now we say we're not going to take them. That's what they wanted. Just don't come back. Uh, but this generation here, they're not, they're not going to do that. They, uh, they, they're actually, they're fighting back and actually pushing back and, and uh, doing the things that we should have done before they got here. So they wouldn't have to, uh, they wouldn't have to be fighting it now. So now they're out here fighting and now we're coming in and because sometimes we've gotten a little comfortable in our positions that uh, we don't want to see it get rocked. We want, we want things to stay the same. And we're trying to tell them, don't do it. You're going to make people mad. Well, they're already mad. You know? uh, so the, the, now is the time as, uh, as, uh, as business owners, uh, we got to find out where our, our thing is here, uh, where our job at is in, in, this, uh, in this whole thing that's going on. But like I said, you got the protesters, you got the soldiers, and then right behind them, you got the organizers. Um, this thing, they, they, got, they got organizers in here. Um, I'm looking um, at how they're actually attacking the police stations and, uh, and attacking the actual police officers and the state troopers. Uh, this is not just something that they just uh, they just they just uh, they just meeting up and they, it's just happening. It's actually planned. When when they when they're coming in, they actually got this thing planned, and it's all almost military like. Uh, I'm seeing them outflanking the police. I, I'm seeing them. Uh, uh, split the, making them split their ranks. I, 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 everything that you see and read in uh, um, in um, Art of War, they're they're practicing it. They're practicing it, uh, and they know the weakness when when they come. Like this weekend here in North Carolina, it's almost hundred degrees this weekend, and they got and they uh, and uh, and the police got on all this hot uh, body armor, uh, got this gas mask on, a helmet on. I think they told they told all these uh, these uh, these uh, full shields and stuff like that. And um, you know, you know, two o'clock in the afternoon, uh, they okay. They they standing there with that. They okay. Um, those guys show up at six o'clock and they they keep hitting the line and hitting the line, making the police have to fight fight. You know, about ten thirty eleven o'clock, they, they were exhausted. They were passing out uh, because they 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 uh they, they had uh, dehydrated and stuff. And then the body armor and stuff that they had and the gas mask, they couldn't throw any more gas masks because they was what you call. They uh that uh because they wanted to take their gas mask off to get to get some air. So the, the the actual armor and stuff that they had was no longer to their benefit. And these guys knew that. And they knew if they uh if they pull if they they split the uh, they split up and half hit the, the 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 governor and the other one hit the uh hit this uh, Capitol building that they had, the police had to split the ranks. They couldn't sit in the Capitol building in the air condition. They had to work all night. And uh, you look, they lay it out uh, behind the buildings, uh, exhausted. So uh, they, you got the organizers there. And then behind the organizers, you're going to have the financial backers. And the financial backers, uh, those people, um, are the business owners. <laughs> uh, and people don't tell you that, but those are the business owners. Um, and, and we knew that, that uh, Dr. King and them, um, A.G. Garrison and all them, they were the ones who, who kept them out of jail, kept their supplies, kept them where they need to go. Um, they were the ones that were actually um, pushing them. And when they start looking and they saying, um, why, why are they, how, how are they getting funding? How are they getting their money? Uh, who, who's keeping them afloat? 
And they, that's when they realize, hey, it's those, it, it's those small business owners. It's those skilled tradesmen that who, who, who got the money, who's sometimes putting that money behind them and making sure that they, they got the, they getting where they need to go and get the supplies and stuff that they need. And that's when the turn had came and they, they started taking, um, taking, um, taking the factories out, uh, out of the inner city, started taking the skilled trades out the high schools and stuff and, uh, and, and left you financially broken. And right now uh, we're in a spot now where we're making a lot of money and you can be on any side. You can be on, and like I say, you can be on any side, you put your money where you want to, but right now, uh, you you uh, whatever side that you're thinking you're gonna go on and that you want an outcome on that behalf, um, as a as a business owner, uh, you have an obligation. Um, I feel to actually have have you a war chest uh, putting together for them. Um, with me, um, I know what side that I'm I'm actually gonna um, put my back in behind, and um, I'm just taking one day out the week. So uh, what I do, everything that I earn for the whole week, I divide it by five and and whatever that number is, uh, I'm gonna set that aside to, to um, make sure that if somebody get arrested, if somebody uh, needs to get out of jail, if, if somebody's out there on the side that I um, that I wanna put my thumb on that scale and, and put a little weight on there, if somebody's on that side, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna uh, make sure that their bills and stuff stay paid. Uh, if somebody need transportation to get somewhere, I, I give them a little transportation. People get mad about that too. And see, this is the thing too. We need to we need to go back and read history. Um, a lot of people get mad saying, um, uh, you know, people who come in here coming from um, they not they not in our town. Uh, well, the National Guard, they not people in your town. What well, you think? You think one one person can 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 do that and you not? You think you gonna they gonna they gonna they gonna bring in National Guards and stuff? And you 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 and you don't think they gonna not gonna mobilize and, and and bring in bring in some outsiders too to help out? Uh, forever we had freedom riders. Where do you think the freedom riders were? They were the people who who uh, who went to different towns and, and, and sure things up. Uh, then they say, well, they got people here who agitators who 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 agitating and 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 and, and whatnot. Well, you see in the uh, on both sides they're agitators. You got police breaking glasses and breaking up their stuff. You got the police shooting uh, uh, tear gas out in the crowd for no reason and shooting rubber bullets for no reason. And you got some people on the other side that's doing the same thing. That's uh, looting, um, throwing bricks and stuff at the police and all that. Um, yeah, so you're going you're gonna to have that on both sides. So that's that's even there, too. Um, and, and and so you, you, it, 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 it's, it's just it's just the art of the game. You're going to you're gonna have to fight it. And you you can't be mad, and it's not going to be nothing where it's going to. Uh, you don't want nobody to get hurt. Nobody wants nobody to get hurt, and nobody wants to uh, see people uh, stuff getting looted and all that stuff. Nobody wants to see that. But like they say, if you pray for the rain, you have to deal with the mud. So it's, it's gonna it's gonna come with it. Uh, you're not going to be able to. Uh, you're not going to be able to walk through this thing and 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 and, and get liberated and not have to and not have to and not have to actually uh, fight for it. Ain't, ain't nobody nobody ever got liberated. Uh, just by asking, uh, nobody has done it, and nobody wants to. Uh, nobody wants to do it. Uh, uh, nobody, nobody wants to do it. Everybody wants to be peaceful and just, just let's just get forget about it and just move on and this and that. But it, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. This, this is this is the reason why you become entrepreneurs and business owners, because now you have an avenue for those young guys or young girls or whoever that's out there that you can say, okay. Um, we make enough money where we can, we can pull four or $500 a week off and say, Hey, uh, you know, here you go. Uh, you got bottled waters, cell phone bill paid. Uh, you need gas to go someplace. Uh, um, you go, if you get in jail or something, Hey, call me. Uh, I, I can get the money and, and get it there to you. Um, if you, uh, if, uh, you know, all that we can do it and get to a point where afterwards, if, uh, you know, what, what happened with us, uh, we didn't have a way to reward people who fought for us. Um, you know, we had no way to reward them and protect them afterwards. You know, it's a shame that uh, here it is. Rosa Parks had that. You know, she she, she didn't even pay a rent, and nobody stepped up to pay a rent. You know, he had to had to go to somebody else had to pay a rent and and whatnot. That uh, you know, the Malcolm's kids and stuff uh, uh, didn't 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 get the benefit. They weren't taken care of. To the point now where you no know, we coming along uh whoever side you're on like i say choose your side it doesn't matter 
but you you now make enough we make enough money now where we can say hey we can give you a job uh if, if, if you get blackball out there for uh going out uh standing up for your rights and for what i believe in then um uh, you come see me I, I i can give you a job you know um uh, i can make sure that uh that you're not going to fall in, uh, in financial ruins if you if you come here um uh, if you if you if you out there and you're doing things the right way, I can make sure you don't fall in financial ruins. So that's what we're, that's why we need to have this this backing, and that's what Dr. Claude Anderson always talked about. You know, before you go, you gotta have a financial footing, and uh, we're we're fortunate enough now to get started on our financial footing. It's, it's not it's not totally built, but uh, if you if you in your little area and if they if people. Uh, 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 got some stuff going crazy and stuff and you know some of the people there and we all dealt with it uh we, we can we can avoid the conversation if we want but everybody know we we dealt with it and we were just too scared in our time to actually uh go out here and do it and uh and now these people uh these young guys and young women are out here now and they're actually out here uh putting it putting in putting in some work and, and figuring this thing out and right now uh us as uh, as 35 and 40, I'm, I'm 47. I'm 47. Um, I don't have no business out there. Let them figure it out. Uh, they, 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 I got more years behind me than I got in front of me. This is their this is their world that they're putting together. And they'll put their world together the way they want to put it together. I had a chance to make it the way I wanted to make it, and I, I didn't do it. I, 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 I punked out during my time. So this time, I'm letting these young people feel, uh, do it. it. We might get to the point. I honestly think uh, at this point in time, we're not gonna uh, when when this thing is said and done, we might have a third party. It won't be just these Democrat uh, Republicans crap anymore. I think it's gonna a third party is gonna pop up out of this. We're gonna get some Fred Hamptons to come up out of here. We're gonna get some. Uh, we're gonna get some other uh, uh, Frederick Douglass. We're gonna get because right now they're trying to put a leader out in front of them. You know, they're saying, hey, uh, go to, go to bring Killer Mike and, and T.I. out there to, to talk. Come on now. Come on. Then tell a lie. Oh, they own half the uh, 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 the West <laughs> West Side or whatever. Atlanta. Why are you going to tell us a lie like that? We know that. And this is the thing that make me mad. Uh, those guys and stuff, you, you, you made your living talking about how you're going to kill a black man. <laughs> if he step on your shoes, if he do this and that, you're going to shoot him and you better get your Nike and then run because I'm going to do this and do that to you. And, 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 and then you get on there and cry. You get on, you get on TV and cry. <laughs> Come on, man. You don't do that. You don't, uh, you don't do that. All that. And then you got these, these guys, you got these guys who are supposed to be gangsters and, and supposed to be uh, all these thugs and, uh, and, 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 and they real. They, they supposed to be real. And he crying up there on TV, and I'm looking at this guy who we who we who, who we looked at, and we said, "Oh, this guy ain't he, he a punk? All he do is play video games all day. All he uh, 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 all he all he does is uh, all he does is uh, uh, is ride skateboards all the day." And I'm looking out there, and they dropping people. <laughs> they they they're knocking people out, and uh, and, and they they're sitting there, and they walking through bullets and stuff. And then you got this guy who, who made a living telling us a lie about how thorough he is and stuff, and he on TV crying. <laughs> Come on, and, and, and you the mayor, you the mayor of Atlanta, and you gonna tell me you you can't do nothing to protect your son from police? And you the mayor, and you gonna tell your son I can't protect you and stuff? But don't be a mayor then. Step down if you can't do it. <laughs> if you can't do it, don't be the mayor. <laughs> that's that's just crazy. <laughs> That's just crazy. Yeah, I can understand. You can say, okay, I, I can't guarantee that won't nobody come hurt you or anything like that. But you can say, hey, if somebody, you can uh, tell anybody, hey, if you if you bother these guys, then, uh, hey, you're going to catch the, catch the raft of, of me. Something's going to happen. And that's what these guys are saying. Hey, you can, you can, you, you, you push somebody and get, get out of hand with somebody, you're going to catch the raft. And uh, they don't care who it is right now. They, they, they're putting it in. And um and for us, it's, it's sad. It's sad to see, you know, you, you, you same thing. You know, the, the mayor, I think Minnesota, gonna say Jay Z called me. Who in the world care about Jay Z? These guys don't listen to Jay Z. <laughs> it's the same thing. It, it'd be like it'd be like uh, when we were growing up, and and uh, they're gonna tell me where well, uh, James Brown called me. Who the we didn't care about James Brown at that time. It was okay, but we didn't listen to him like that. And so same thing with these guys. Why are you going to do that and try to put somebody in front of them? 
And then people want to know who leading them. Who cares? I don't want no leaders. Uh, we don't want no more leaders because when you when you got a leader, they take your leader out. The, 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 uh, everything dies. Now they realize it's not a leader. It, it's just it, it, everybody's on code and they're, they actually say, hey, every, and, and, and same thing, too. Uh, people saying, well, um, you, you got you got you got um, different races out there. And they got different things. Everybody's not going to be fighting for the same thing. Everybody's not going to be on one accord. You not you might have somebody fighting because they don't like the, the capitalist system. You might have somebody fighting because they don't they they got two hundred thousand dollars in student loans. You got you got all this stuff for people out there who saying, hey, I don't got fucked by the system and I no longer want to take this system. So now I'm gonna I'm, I'm I'm coming out here to fight. You know your fight might be different than my fight. Just like uh, during the Revolutionary War, uh, when the, you know, the United States was fighting for one thing, but France was right beside them fighting for something different. But it didn't matter. Let, let's, hey, our, our main objective is let's get, let's get Britain out of here, and then you and I will settle up at, after this. But let's get them out of here first. And that's what they're doing. They, they're out there. Everybody is fighting for the uh, fighting. Say they got their own reasons to fight and this and that. Um, so leave them alone. The, the, we need as, as 35 and older, we need to just leave them alone. Leave them alone. Let them do their thing. Don't try to get out here and, and uh, especially the ministers and all that. Leave them alone. Uh, who want to go talk to a civil rights minister right now? Nobody. We feel like they lost. We feel like that they they the reason why we're here right now. Why even bring them back up? Just 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 let it go. And same thing with the ministers. If if, if you watch them call. Uh, if you if 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 you looking for a, a sermon to preach, right now is your sermon to preach. You you got them uh uh the, just just like the the lost children of Israel coming coming out. You know this, this is about the same generation. Uh uh, this is uh about the same generation of when they supposedly walked in the wilderness and stuff. And they and all of us we, we all all of us could never get there because like they said. Uh, all their dreams and everything is about slavery and bondage and, and and segregation, and that's where we are. So we we that's that's what we keep going back to. We we want to go back there, but this crowd that they like the ones say, hey, we can take them and, and, and no no rip their shirt off and say, hey, uh, they walking around the walls and say that that's we're gonna take it, and they they out here fighting. And same thing, you know, the people who we thought were gonna fight, we you thought Killer Mike and Ti and them might have been somebody that will be ready to fight, and you realize now that they are not. And it's the same thing when they went looking for somebody to go, 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 slew, uh, go fight, uh, uh, David, the uh, Goliath, when they were looking for somebody to go fight, you know, they went and looked at all those TIs and, and killer mites. And they said, that gotta be the guy. And they said, no, who is it? You mean that scrawny little guy? He can't, <laughs> he ain't gonna be able to fight, uh, Goliath. He, no way he can win. That's the same thing I said. When I, I said, these, uh, these guys going to get themselves killed. Go guys who play video games and ride skateboards and nerds and stuff. And here it is, these guys, the ones, they ain't the, they ain't the ones that the gang bang and all that. Those guys ain't nowhere to be found. They the ones most of the time doing the looting and all the crazy stuff. Uh, they, they the ones that uh, it's the it's the gamers and and uh, skateboarders and, and and the guys with the crazy hair looking hair stuff. They the ones who's out there throwing the blows, and they they the ones out here who's leading the charge. So like I say, uh, what we need to do. We need to, uh, whatever side you want to be on, I don't tell you what side to go on. Uh, you, you choose what side you want to be on. Uh, uh, and, but uh, as a business owner, you got to put a war chest together. If, uh, if you ever looked at uh, uh, Ford versus Ferrari, that were, that's what Henry Ford said. You know, hey, the United States didn't beat uh, Germany. He beat Germany because he, he, he put all, all those uh, planes and, and, and tanks came off of his assembly line. So he went to war. And same thing with with us as African American business owners or whoever or uh, whoever side you 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 going on, you 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 take the money and you 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 gotta take your resources and you gotta put it someplace to uh, make it useful. That's the reason you do it. And you you uh, you you take your resources and you you back whoever you want to go uh, go with. And it's, it's nothing wrong with that. It, uh, they they always they, they always have. Uh, always, people always uh, have differences. They got to be subtle. And as uh, as uh, as uh, African Americans, we got to grow up and, and and start playing big boy ball and realize that hey, if we're gonna be business owners and stuff, you ain't gonna be a business owner. I, I you think you think I can set I can sit here 
and do a plans boot camp on on, uh, on YouTube and have a plans uh, repair uh, school or something. And people ain't gonna come shooting for me. Yeah, they're gonna come shooting for me. But that's 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 what makes it. That's what makes that's what makes me better. That's what makes them better. That's what makes y'all get a better product. Same thing. You you think you're gonna sit around and just let the Democrats and Republicans constantly rule everything and nobody's gonna come up and challenge them? No, we gotta have somebody come here and challenge them and go. It's just like the Whig prob, uh, party and the Federalists and all that. All that stuff gotta get busted up, and then we then we we put it back together and get something better. And like I said, the stuff that these young people have put together thus far. It's been it's been remarkable. So let's see what else they can do. Just we need to just get out the way. And um, like I say, we our our time we got we got more time behind us than we got in front of us. So hey, uh, your job now is is to be moving out the way for the next generation, letting them lead. Ain't no way in the world of all these millions of people we have here in the United States. They uh, the only two people we got running for. Look at look at the two people we got right now running for president. That's just that's just that's just silly. It's just silly that that's what, that's the mess that we could come up with. <laughs> and one guy is is, is 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 totally going through dementia, and the other person is is right there behind him, and 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 and, and his car got pulled too. He he called for the, he called for the uh, for the dogs and and all that, and he found out he didn't have no he didn't have no uh, warriors on his on uh, for in his, in his team. You know, like they say, um, you don't have, if you ain't got no killers, you ain't you ain't got no army. If, of all the all the uh the uh, of all the weapons and and all that that, that Russia had, uh, all the stuff that Al Qaeda and, and 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 Iraq and all them, all that stuff, North Korea, all the uh, nuclear warheads North Korea and them had, the president never had to go into the bunker, but he 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 made a threat to these young guys, um, and he had to go in the bunker. No, he was hiding. They had to get the governor out. You know they they. The police, uh, they, they overran the police and, and burned the police stations and stuff now. And um, and you finding out now that if you, like they say, if if, if you ain't, if you ain't got no killers, you ain't got you ain't got no army. And he, they realize that it's, no, it, it, you uh, people fight people fighting for liberation will always be people fighting for a paycheck. Those guys going out there to get a paycheck. These guys, these young people that were that, that's coming up and rising up, they're fighting for liberation. Um, and and they're not letting it go. If you thinking, if you think uh, that this thing is over with, hey, you wrong. You, you, they gotta pack their lunch. Cause you, if you got a, a, a teenager or early twenty, mid twenty year old, you try, you try uh, trying to trying to tell them something and see how long they stick with and hold it. You, they 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 in for a long, they in for a long battle. But these kids ain't gonna let it go. They're not gonna let it go. Um, the, the, the stuff that, that, uh, they, they figured out early on the stuff that we we're saying and the stuff is, is lies and they got caught in it. You know, they, they've been caught in it. They don't care. They don't care about the money and stuff. Like, like we did, we, we had this, uh, so we're so consumed with, uh, materialism and stuff. A lot of these kids doing sleeping in vans and stuff. Just, just, they want experiences. So the, the, all that stuff is gone. And, um, and Hey, it's, I'm, I'm excited to see what's going to turn up out of here. Honestly, I, I am. I want to see the leaders to actually come up out of here. We're going to actually get some great leaders uh, from this thing. Um, if if we if we old folks get out the way, I wonder where Al Sharpton down there for? Get out the way, man. You don't need to be. You had your time. Get out the way. You don't need to. You don't need to be saying anything. Uh, same thing um, with all these uh, uh, rappers and all that. Get out the way. You know. Uh, the 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 fight because what happens when we get older like i say when we get older we get comfortable and we find we find us a place that we like to sit and we don't want to we don't want to bother that you're not going to get dr dre and and, and 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 ice cube and them together to make another uh straight out of compton and <laughs> uh, uh 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 record and stuff now because they don't want to mess up their money same thing uh you're not going to you're not going to get uh uh, you're not going to get that. Uh, that's why um, the killer Mike told me he didn't want to come, didn't want to be there. Then why you go? Just don't go. But they they wake you up, say, Negro, get up there, and you better go say this. <laughs> and, and you calm the people down. And that, that's, why he, that's why he had to go. Versus him saying, I ain't going out there. Do like Ice Cube. I ain't coming to talk. I, I'm, I'm done with it. So, But uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, like I say, if you want to come in, uh, you're welcome to come in and talk. I'm not going to be here that long. Uh, I'm going to read what we got in the chat and then uh, we're going to get out of here. 
Mario Goodson, hey, how you doing? Uh, Untang Kango, hey, Mike. Uh, King K, hey, how you doing? Uh, Prestige Mobile Detailing, hey, how you doing? Uh, Sam, I am, hey, okay, there you go. Uh, our Mario Gibson registered for the 15th. Can't wait to see you and my fellow classmates. Okay, good. congratulations. Can't wait to see you here too. Hey, how you doing, DCNF Appliance Repair? The finisher, what's up, Mike and ABC fam? Uh, okay, he's ordering parts. Yep, yep. Uh, working, working those uh, that second shift job now. Ordering the parts. Engineered appliance repair. Hey, how you doing, uh, Patrick Young? What's good, Mike? What's good, ABC fam? And the other thing too. Um, when you when you when you're doing stuff like that uh, and you you putting your money behind um, an effort, you ain't got don't you don't tell nobody. You don't you don't need to tell anybody. You'll find a person you can you can put your money to, and, and it'll get to the right person. But you, you ain't got to put it out there. And that's why most business owners, when we give and, and stuff, we don't tell people that. Uh, even when we're doing charity and we helping people, we don't want nobody to know uh, what we're doing for anybody. And same thing with this. If you're gonna uh, put your money out there. Uh, and, and help people and stuff. Um, later on in, in, in history, people come back and say, okay, uh, um, uh, Joe Blow Appliance Repair, um, he, 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 he was instrumental with us being able to get food out there to people and, and making sure that we got from one place to another and made sure that our cell phones stayed on and we, and we had some place to stay. You know, that, uh, we really appreciate him. We couldn't have done it. But in the meantime, you don't, you ain't got to tell anybody and you ain't got to tell nobody nothing. Don't tell nobody. You better off not telling anybody anything. You just go out here and you, anybody say, ask you anything, just I, same thing I tell everybody, man, these young people crazy, man. They'll figure it out. <laughs> you just, you just go out here and your job is to, uh, to keep the money coming in and you keep the money coming in and you keep whoever side you going to, you keep pressing your thumb on that side of the scale. And, uh, and, and that's it. All right, uh, Patrick Young, what's good? All right, there you go. All right, uh, BK from the Rockies, hey, how you doing? Mario Goodson, okay, what's up? Uh, hey, how you doing, Slick? What's up, Mike, ABC fam, Donnie Madden, uh, Triple R Appliance Repair, hello, Mike, and ABC fam, uh, Jeffrey Ryan, uh, peace, Uncle Mike, hey, how you doing? Uh, the O and three, uh, I finally figured out the third party warranty, how long before you usually hear back from them, okay. There you go. Uh, probably it'd probably take a couple, uh, maybe a week or so. You start hearing back, but they they're getting in contact with you. All right, uh, Sean G. Good evening. Hey, how you doing? Cold Cold CX. What's up? Uh, uh, good people love these uh, convos. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, I don't know. They got some networking going on. Uh, Shea, Shea Star, uh, AV Civic Center. Hey, how you doing? Uh, Mike Charles, what's up, Mike and fam? Hey, how you doing? Almost Regal, what's up, ABC fam? What's up, uh, Snee? One love, uh, Keys up in uh, Minneapolis. Okay, there you go. All right. All right. Uh, DC Nelson, Mike is telling the uh, the real right now. Okay. Uh, oh, fix it. Hey, how you doing? Uh, King K. Yeah, Mike, I'm out there and I'm financing as well. Okay, there you go. Yeah, that's, that's what you got to do. You got to... Uh, you got to put your finger on the scale and stuff. And our job as business owners and all that is to make sure that uh, if you believe in the call, whatever, whatever cause it is that you believe in, you need to financially back that cause. If you believe in it, I don't care what it is, you, you financially back it. And, uh, and, and that's your job as a business owner. And same thing too. Um, uh, you know, the, we say the craziest stuff, um, you know, who, who going to, who, who gonna rebuild the, uh, the, the 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 who gonna rebuild the town? Even though you don't own anything in it, who gonna? But they said, uh, um, who gonna rebuild our city? You rebuild it. You the business owner. We entrepreneurs. Uh, you build it. You, you you if you built it the first time, you can build it the second time. You know if they came here and and uh, and, and 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 burned my building down or what? I, I got insurance. I, as a matter of fact, it might be better because then I can do it the way I really want to do it. So, so, so uh, who cares? You know, they, 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 that, that's part of, like I say, you, you can't pray for the rain, don't have to worry and think you're not going to get no mud. So that's part of, of, of what's going on here. Uh, and they ain't going to, you know, when, 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 when they, when, when they went, when, uh, when, when they went to Germany and they dropped bombs on Hiroshima and all that, didn't nobody say, well, who's going to rebuild it? They didn't care about that. Hey, let's let's stop the threat. Then after we stop the threat, then we'll go back and rebuild this thing, uh, and, and, uh, and we'll make we'll make it bigger and better than what it was the first time. You know, 
So that's what we'll do. And you don't think CNN um, ain't, ain't, ain't putting their thumb on the, on the scale? Uh, they they putting their thumb on the scale. Same thing. And, I, and say that they say, well, what CNN do? Um, as an African-American man who went to an HBCU um, university, I tell you a lot that they've done. I, I hated the fact if, 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 uh, if, if we had a basketball game and uh, somebody, uh, somebody a uh, football game, and we had a little scuffle, it will get played 24-7 uh, for two months at, uh, about us. But then uh, I would go to some of these, what we call PWI colleges. You, you go down there to South Carolina, uh, University of South Carolina, and uh, go down to East Carolina, East Carolina and NC State football game. You go there. It's worse than the Bloods and the Crips. They fighting, ripping the goal post up, ripping the seats up. I, I mean, I, I mean, I mean, a, a, a brawl that you never seen before in your life. Uh, that, that's what happened. You saw Carolina and South Carolina State down there fighting, uh, throwing blows, but they don't. Hey, just college boys being boys. They got a little beer in them. They got riled up. Uh, they competitive. That, that's what happened. But with us, we we're a bunch of thugs, and you know, and, and and the thing about it, when you go look at those schools and, and they play, the people who, who a lot of times who, who's out there fighting have never even set foot on the campus. They don't even know anything about their university. They just, they just, they just know that's the team they like. Versus uh, when we used to play Central and, and we got into it, you had you had generations of people, all they, uh, their whole family don't went to North Carolina a and and their whole family don't went to Central. <laughs> and you get there, so it, it, you have a, a direct connection to that. And it's, 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 it's a rivalry, it's personal. And, and we're in the same state and it's split. And so, yeah, when, when we meet up and it's close and, and uh, words get us changed, uh, yeah, it, sometimes it, 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 it will pop off a little bit. But that's all you will see. But then you see NC State uh, and East Carolina, East Carolina uh, and NC State pretty much about the same with us. Uh, East Carolina feel like they got uh, uh, NC, like we're a bigger university than Central. So uh, sometimes Central might have felt like that they didn't get the respect they deserve because we thought we might be a little bit bigger and uh, and and we kind of pushed our weight around them. East Carolina the same way they feel like the uh, NC State uh, think that they're uh, a little bit better because they 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 bigger than they are and uh, East Carolina comes in and kick their butt. Same thing Central will come in and kick our butt sometime and then uh, the words get us changed and then then it, it happens. Um, but uh, nobody called them thugs. And same thing. Uh, 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 if you look at if you look at the description, what CNN doing now? Uh, when they showing th this stuff that's going on, they show black person going into the store taking something. Uh, they they say uh, 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 they they looting. Uh, uh, and then if they show a white person taking something, they say um, protest uh, turn. Uh, what's say turn not violent. Uh, Turn, turn violent or protest take a turn for the worst. They don't put on that they, they looting and they they looting just just as much as uh, the other people are. So yeah, so yeah, we get we get tired of seeing that. Uh, or or uh, even do Katrina. They're showing black people getting some uh, 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 pants and fresh clothes in the water and bottles of water. Oh, they looting. But then they show other people getting. Oh, uh, they're uh, they're looking for anything to survive. They're they're surviving. You know that type of stuff. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, ABC Ken, peace to the fam. ABC fam, uh, uh, family and outside there. Okay. Uh, Sean C. Tell him, Mike. Okay. Uh, Maurice Anderson, Chinese people own half of the West Side. Of <laughs> yeah, that, that's that does burn me up when they say that. No, they own uh, half the West Side. And I had this discussion too. Uh, back in the days when, when we said we um people we had black owned businesses. We had black owned businesses. When we said we had black owned barbershops uh, and hair salons, they, we had those because the people who, who owned the, uh, the barbershop and hair, they owned the building that they were in. That was their building. Now we we we, we were saying, oh, uh, yeah, Killer Mike owned a barbershop. But do he own the building? No, nah, he owned the building. He rent the building. Well, all he do is rent chairs, man. That's all he does. Uh, he, he just leasing chairs and he builds he builds the community up, uh, builds the uh, barbershop or whatever is up. And then um, gets the rent up so high that he can't afford it no more. And then they move him out and move somebody else in his spot. That's all he does. And he don't own anything. They don't own anything there. Um, we don't seen that too many times with Jay Z owning the Nets and all that. And you kind of find out they're front. Um, even uh, I don't know, but I, I I don't know. Yes, I do know. Even the same thing with uh, 
uh, uh, the guy, I forget his name right now, but uh, uh, the guy out in California, that the, the marathon shirts and all that, and he, he's supposed to be buying up the whole block and come to find out it's, other, it's a white guy who buys everything. He's just fronting. Same thing. We look at Michael Jordan. He don't own Jordan. Uh, he can't take Jordan brand and, and, and go shop it off to, to, to Adidas or anybody like that. All he is is just a face. He don't own anything in it. You know, so just uh, don't own anything in it. Uh, uh, yeah, they bought and paid for. Yeah, yeah, they know they can't give up that uh, under the table money. Huckle Mike, yeah, it is. It's it's, it's sad. It's sad. Uh, hard truth right there. Code CS, that's important. Okay, okay. Mike, our power is owning our own business, not pro protest. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It's um, it's owning our own business. Um, that's where uh, our money is at. But you also, uh, you have to also um, make the make. You have to, like I will tell you, uh, with the with the uh, with the laws might get changed. Oh, I think they are going to get changed. But the laws might get changed. Say, hey, you you got to have a contractor's license to do a appliance repair. How did that come by? That come by actually uh, paying the politicians and putting your money um, by where you believe, and putting your finger on the scale. So same thing. Uh, if uh, if we believe that that we need to have a contractor's license, then we put our money behind. It. Same thing. If we believe that we need to bust this thing up and say, hey, uh, because of what happened um, and the disadvantages that was um, that was actually uh, placed upon us uh, coming out of uh, slavery and Jim Crow, Jim Crow segregation, that we can say, okay, we need to get a set aside. To say, okay. Uh, Every African American um, that wants to go and get into the skilled trades, then they 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 get a they get a direct path to, uh, to get their contractor's license uh, within a certain amount of time, and then we get industry set aside. You know, like right now, you almost better off being blind than you are to be African American in this country. You know, if you blind, they got the industry of the blind where they say, okay, uh, the military uniforms and stuff like that only 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 the industry of the blind can make. And they say, okay, if you're blind, you're going to make $20 an hour making uniforms for the U.S. Army. Well, you could do the same thing with us. You can say, okay, uh, all the skilled trades um, have to, uh, the skilled trades uh, will come through. Uh, 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 if you're African-American, male or female, you want to get into the skilled trades, you get a, uh, a direct apprenticeship directly to it. And your job will be uh, repairing on um, military bases, the government uh, offices, state offices, and stuff. And you you get a, you get a government set aside, an industry set aside that that hey that that's an industry that you own that nobody else can come and compete against you with, and make sure that you you able to be stable and, and have a decent life. You can you can do that and have it for so many generations. If you get so many generations in there, then eventually you got a lock hole in it. It's hard to get you out. But if they you all they're gonna do is give you a job. You get a job for. Uh, for uh, for uh, one generation, then you back where we at now. You know, uh, during the civil rights, the people who fought and, and and knocked down the doors so people could go into the factories, into the government jobs, those people got locked out. And the people who sitting at home, like the, like you seeing a lot of now, the keyboard warriors saying, "Why are they doing it? They need to stop. You know, uh, go home. Don't go out there." Those are people who were the first ones that went and got in line to put the application in. They the ones they brought in. The ones that fought, they they punished those guys, and then the ones who got in, they didn't build anything else for the other people. They didn't they didn't want they they felt and now those are the same. We had this conversation with my uh, father and them this weekend. I told them I, I honestly told them I said that, that um, after my grandfather, y'all dropped the ball. Y'all y'all didn't build anything for anybody. I mean, not one thing. And uh, and I'm you no know, and 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 they you know they, they those those men they they went into they went into trying to be slick into drugs trying to trying to run two and three different women you know your grandfather yeah he might have had two or three different women but he took care of home and his, his, his wife didn't work <laughs> he took care of the woman that that he was actually running with and and, and he built stuff he, he, he saved them land and all this and that and then you ask them well why you didn't do that well I, uh they they think because they done the bare the bare minimum was um I, I paid for you to go to school and and I kept food on the table. Were well, you supposed to do that? <laughs> what, you, that the, what about the what about the above and beyond? You know, that, that's the bare minimum. You done just the bare minimum, and 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 the time that you spent doing all this other crazy stuff. That's the time you're supposed to spend actually uh, building. You know, like now, uh, I, I, my time. I don't have no time to be out here 
of running uh running women and, and all this stuff because i don't my time i'm, I'm building i'm building <laughs> So I'm, I'm building two or three different businesses at the same time, pouring into other people, I'm building them up. So you ain't got time to be running a bunch of women and stuff. If you're 50 some years old or 40 some my age and you and you still running a bunch of women and, and, and caring about uh, women and, and dating and stuff, you got a serious problem. You you have a serious problem when you when you you 40 you 40 you reach 40 years old and you your still main concern is uh, running uh, running a bunch of women. Uh, or going to get going 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 to sleep with a woman, you got a serious problem. Uh, because now I'm at the stage where uh, I'm getting ready, and, and and same thing. It's different stages in a man life. You no, know, the, the, the man when you first start off, you yeah, when you're in your twenties and stuff like that, you're supposed to run a bunch of women and all that. Get that out your system, and then you you start preparing for a a, a family. And you a, a man needs to go through all those all these different steps. So he have a, a percept, he have a percept, uh, a wide, uh, wide uh, perspective of life. If you never, if you never transition from the single man running woman, running a bunch of women, to a point where you became a father and a provider, to the point where now you become a matriarch, where you're the grandfather and you actually uh, head of the family and giving, giving, uh, giving uh, good advice and stuff, and 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 making sure that the family. Uh, stays intact and, 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 and being able to provide resources and stuff to see it move on to the next generation. If you don't make those transitions as a man, you if you 40 some years old and, and, and still haven't gotten married, still haven't uh still haven't put together a family where you nurtured and, and, and provided for somebody. I, I ain't I ain't just saying paying child support. I mean nurtured and provided for somebody where you dare every night and every morning when they wake up. You dare when they go to bed, you dare when they wake up. If you ain't been there with the wife to go through the transition of those first five years where you catching hell and y'all can barely be around each other to, uh, to another five years where uh, y'all, uh, y'all, y'all just say, Hey, just, we're going to wait until these kids grow up and get 18. And then we, then we're going to separate and then get to the point where you get to the kids where they're 18 and they're, they're 20 some years old. And, and then you really find out what love really is. No, you, you, you don't make those transitions. How are you going to tell the next generation, no, nah, it's, it's not worth it not to leave? Because you got to make those transitions as a man so you can have a wide perspective of life. And these guys are, are, are you, you know, 40 and 50 year old men in the midst of this right here, in the midst of everything that's going on with these young guys out here um, becoming men, fighting and stuff like that. And and the midst of the world getting rearranged, you still got people putting up videos and, and doing uh, shows about hooking up. What in the what in the world? It's just crazy. It's just crazy, and uh, it's just crazy. Matter of fact, those are I, I think those people who are still talking about dating and and having hookups and stuff in a time like this, uh, where the world is, uh, is is fighting the jockeying for position, and um, I think they worse than the people uh, out there looting right now. I think they're doing a, a worse disjustice to uh, to their people than the people out there looting. All right. And sorry tonight is not so much a a, 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 a appliance business uh, thing, but it's definitely on the business end. And this, as the business end, you gotta you gotta you gotta know both sides of this business. You know, it's not just you making money for yourself and and you going out and uh and 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 you just you just taking care of yourself. You got, it's about you rebuilding your whole community. It's about you setting your family straight and everything. You can't just make sure you are good. And you don't leave nothing behind for your family, and that's the thing too. I was telling my father, you know, uh, my my great grandfather gave him a, a, a ten dollar coin, a gold coin, and um, he kept it, and uh, and and he gave that to me. I'm a, I'm appreciative, and I I love that he gave it to me, and uh, and he gave it to me, and and but he thought he my father thought that that was that was the, what he's supposed to do just give that to me and i said okay see that's where the problem is i say uh, your great grandfather he gave you a 10 he, he came through reconstruction he was right out of slavery reconstruction he gave you a ten dollar gold piece that ten dollar gold piece is worth about maybe twenty five hundred dollars right now uh your uh your grandfather uh came through he did not add not one piece of gold to it <laughs> your father came through he did not add one piece of gold to it. You came through. You didn't add not one piece of gold to it. And now it comes down to me. 
And here I am now. I, I got I got several gold coins that I've added. And and, and y'all y'all didn't see the why you needed to add any gold coin. And you, it's not just you take and hold it. You're supposed to you're supposed to get that added more gold coin. So when it got to me, I supposed to have ten or fifteen. You know, you didn't have enough to give all your all your kids one. You're supposed to have enough to give all your kids one. You had to choose which one you're gonna give one. So and that's the, that's the thing we have to get out and start seeing that this is the power that um, that uh, business ownership does. It's, it's, it's not for us. It's not just for you to make sure that your family is well and uh, and 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 you want to calm everybody else down. When you see the masses are, are hurting and starving and stuff, it's up to you too to actually go back in there and fix uh, and, and fix those situations. Fix those situations. You no, know, like uh, like for instance with the guy with the bad check that he, that he was going to try to uh, cash on me. Just think if uh, if I would have if I hadn't have told him, hey, don't call the police on that guy. He might have been the guy who, who got choked out. You know, just some because it was the same situation. It was a bad check, and he got choked out. And people told me they would call the police on the guy. And I said, no, nah, I'm not gonna call the police on him. He come here, I'll talk to him. Same thing. It was the exact same situation. That could have been that young man out there with his uh, got got choked and killed out there. So, and with a business owner. Uh, that's a, that's the way we have to think. Stuff like that, too small. I deal with it. We fix stuff. Okay, um, uh, Maurice Anderson. To be honest, blacks never listen to the leaders, especially uh, to Malcolm. Okay, all right. Okay, uh, money uh, money is how other groups help those who speak and fight for their interests. We can do the same. Yep, we got to. Ain't no, we can. We are going to. It's a powder keg. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Triple R appliance repair. This younger generation has weakened to the American corporate BS. Has awakened to the American corporate. Yeah, they have. They have. Okay. Just as Claude Anderson said. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, it's hard to spot the general when he's fighting like a soldier. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Uh, Mike, those studio gangsters can't pop a great <laughs> if they stand on it. Yeah, it, it's crazy. Uh, they are the reason we are here right now. Uh, yeah, they are. They are. They are. They 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 they, they are. They the reason, and it makes me mad that they they the reason we we're here right now, and uh and it's crazy. They 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 they, they all every record they they put out is some is some crazy mess. Calling you the N word for for two hours. Um, talking about how they're going to shoot you, how much drugs they sold, this and that, this and that. Then they go up there, sit on some panel and, and going to tell you, you need education. You need to, well, that ain't what you got. That ain't what you done to get there. I'll be, I, why would I tell you to do that? That ain't what you done to, to get there. No. And, uh, and, and if, if you believe that, then, then why you don't put that in your lyrics? Why you don't put that in your lyrics and rap about that? Why you, everything you rap about got to be about killing me. It got to be about, uh, uh, you know, degrading our women. Why you gotta do that? And uh, uh, and a lot of these YouTube channels them picked up on it and them realized, oh, I can make money by uh, by being like CNN and them just just talk bad about African Americans. Especially if I talk bad about the women, I uh, I, I can get a lot of views and uh, and make me feel better and and make people think. I tell people I want to go overseas and 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 get some women and this and that. And, uh, most of them don't even have a passport. Hey Juan, hey Mike, shout out to you and ABC fan. Okay, how you doing? Uh, facts, uh, Patrick Young. Ministers have been paid off. They get yearly checks from the Faith Based Initiative Act, uh, started by George W. Bush. That's why you don't see any more pa preachers trying to be the next Dr. King. Uh, I think that, and I think they realize uh, when you do that, you might catch a bullet. <laughs> I think that's uh, that that's a, a a big thing of it. They know if you do that, you might catch a bullet. And uh, most of the time, they're not telling you how to actually. They're tell, telling you how to be comfortable with 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 being in your situation, not how to break out your situation. Um, when you're telling people how to break out of their situation, um, that that comes with that comes with a uh, that comes with a uh, a big responsibility. Because if I start telling you how to break out and giving you specific instructions on how to break out, and it doesn't work. Then I'm held accountable, and um, and and you can tell then if I know what I'm talking about or not. But if I make you, if I make you uh, constantly try to debate a belief, uh, belate, uh, or, or or what somebody believe in, or that it's coming later, uh, that you uh, you get it later, uh, it's just around the corner. Your breakthrough is coming. If I can constantly keep telling you that and putting a carrot in front of you, 
um, you never, you always think it's just about there. And then if, if you get um, like, uh, I, I, I see some uh, people, <laughs> it's crazy, you know, you get, you get mercy on you and they think it's a blessing and, and all this stuff. No, it's just, it, it gets to the point where uh, it, it, it's almost, it's almost like a root worker, almost. All right. All right. Uh, triple R appliance repair. This younger generation has awakened to the American BS. And oh, yeah, that's right. Um, hey, how you doing, Brian Clark? All right. Uh, because we don't read, hey, how you doing? Um, decent enough facts, Mike. Okay. Skateboarders were knocking out the races, uh, white guys shooting bow and arrows at the pro. Yeah, you saw that. <laughs> yeah. But then he said it was two African American men. He probably thought it was after they dotted his eye. But yeah, yeah, they, they, uh, they, 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 they gave him one. Uh, Untamed Kango, with all what's going on, any of you guys and ladies having uh, cancellation calls? I'm not getting any cancellation calls. Uh, I'm not. Uh, most of the stuff is centered downtown. Uh, it's not uh, here uh, where I live at. It's centered downtown. Um, so, uh, you know, I don't go downtown to actually service the high rises anyway because there's nowhere to park and I don't want to be have to get buzzed in and out. And toting, and toting stuff everywhere. So I don't usually go down there anyway. And um, so I, I'm not downtown a lot. It's not, it's not nothing going on in the, in the actual community. They're down there at the government buildings and, and police stations and, and capital buildings. They're down there uh, where the legislators and all that stuff are at. So um, here, um, uh, it's, it's not really going on um, in, the, in the community. Uh, down here. Uh, Patrick Young, uh, they've been involved in any, they, they can't be involved in any protests and continue to get money from the government and the faith-based industry. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, Crew City, this is the real conversation. Everybody needs to be on code as African-American business owners. But yeah, we, uh, we do. Um, and we got to know what that means too. Um, like I say, what that means, you got you to you 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 pull some resources off. You got, you got uh, like I say, just pull a day, pull an hour. Or whatever, and um, and and they just start stacking it. Um, they we used to call it war chest. You start stacking it, and when you see a need that need to be made. You you can you can actually uh you can actually step in the gap and, and take care of that need. You know. Um. um wow, we got a lot of people uh coming in. Um. Okay. Uh. All right, uh, AV Civic Center. Love your powerful words, Mike. You are a real motivator for making capital and for liberation. Oh, thank you. And, and these not my words. Let me let me tell you that right now. These are not my words. These words have been spoken by uh, people long before me. Dr. Claude Anderson, uh, Dr. Ben, all all those guys have spoken these words long before me. And uh, and now it's you no. Know, this is the thing too. Um, uh, now all the stuff that we we wanted it and we wanted to see come to pass is actually happening right in front of our eyes and it's scaring people um, to the point where they want to go back they want to go back they, you know hey at least at Pharaoh we we had, we had food <laughs> uh, so they, they want to go back and and these, these 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 guys ain't letting them go back they ain't letting them go back okay uh sean g that saturday zoom class was great thanks man i'm gonna um i'm gonna start doing some more of those uh i actually like the way it went also i'm gonna um as i start to uh upload different um different um the new classes and stuff i think i'm gonna start doing um doing like one day where i, I do just uh go over the new course as i bring it up i thought that was very good all right uh latin uh Martin Staten. Anyone else doing jobs for Sears Service Live? I'm getting uh, funded. I'm getting uh, funded same day that job is closed. It takes about three additional days to uh, EFT to complete. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've never done that. Um, hey, how you doing, Satra? Mike Stats, what's up, Mike and ABC fam? Okay. Top Authority. Hey, how you doing? Um, <laughs> Cody, uh, see, yeah, uh, fights every weekend. Yeah, uh, honestly, uh, I actually, I actually look at, uh, <laughs> I've been looking at the TV this weekend. Uh, actually, uh, they have a live feed downtown in Raleigh, uh, and all the other places that they have going on in, uh, in, uh, in, in North Carolina, and 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 they they have this, uh, they they give you a front view, and then they give you like a, a drone view overview, and I'm looking, 
and I, I said, man, they 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 taking their playbook right out of the art of war. <laughs> they taking their playbook right out of the out of art of war. You know, when they they watch when they, they 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 keep they keep trying to find a weak spot to hit, and how when they they go up and and uh, and they they draw they draw them in, and, and as they start to draw in, um, uh, as they draw them in, they trying to pull them back to where they got barricade at. Uh, so they can fight, and then uh, when they uh, when the police realize they're getting drawn in, and they they trying to flank on the backside, you see the police retreat, and you see them starting to retreat back with the police. It, it, it's kind of crazy to see it how how they actually are, are putting it. And then when they can't when they can't get the uh, when they, when they like I said that time when they realized that the police were, the police had got smart where they had actually they had staged into this uh, Capitol building. And uh, it had got so hot that they could actually do like an offense defense. They could actually fight a little bit, and then they uh, they let some people go and then cool off and get water, and then they uh, bring a new crew out to fight. Um, so what they done? They uh, they actually left. They kept half at the uh, Capitol building, and then they kept. Then they they start. Uh, they sent half over to uh, to the actual governor's building, governor's mansion, and so then the police then had to split ranks. And once they split the ranks. Uh, then they couldn't get no break, and and then they started. They they realized, okay, um, they could they could might hold this, but if we make them have to keep moving, so what they'll do then they'll break their their splinter off again, and they'll go to another building and start getting ready to attack. Then the police have to break again, and the police, the, uh, no, they they got everything blocked off, so they they have to get on feet and and, and march and run there. So the, now the police is running back and forth, and they worn out. And they, that's how they that's how they wore the police out. And I said somebody's looking at that, calling those shots, telling those guys, "Hey, this is where you need you need to attack here. You need to attack there." It got to the point that the police, uh, the next night, the police actually had the city bus, and they had a city bus behind them. So they instead of them have to run to the different places back and forth, they can get in the city bus, and the city bus will actually take them. And they had they had troops sitting on the bus that they can actually move back and forth. So it's, it's funny to see to see how they actually are fighting. A, they actually are fighting a war out there and see how they actually are putting it together. It's, it's very impressive to see that, hey, I don't know if they plan from them playing Fortnite or playing Call of Duty all this time. They actually don't figure it out. And they actually got a plan together and, and they staging stuff. You know, now, I don't know who who dropping bricks and all that stuff. But when they when they when they get when they get to where they, that they need to be at, they get they got ammunition there, you know. They got bricks and stuff already dropped off there, ready to go, and um, so they 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 actually uh, they 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 fighting it out. They fighting it out, and that's the thing too. Um, if, if these, I, I wonder, you know, like, do you keep telling? They want us to go back and 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 do this like they done it uh, in 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 the civil rights era. That's one of the first thing. <laughs> Uh, that, that that they say in the art of war, you know, you, uh, you never fight, uh, you never fight your last war. Uh, so the way you fought in your last war, you never fight like that again. Because then they they are predicting you. They know what you're gonna do. They know if you're just gonna be marching. They they know that. So you have to you have to keep people guessing. And so for for them keep saying, well, they ain't what Dr. King and no, nah, you don't. That's over with. You don't fight that way no more. Uh, you, you you never fight. You never fight the way you fought your last war. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, FC then. Okay. Uh, yes, I just Googled. They got some networking going on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, top of authority. Jay-Z is the ultimate front guy. Yeah, all of them are. <laughs> Mike Sneed and AG Gaston all my heroes. Nah, I got a long, you got a long way to catch up with AG. Uh, uh, um, are you saying we need to get our contractors license? Um, I would like for, uh, if you if you ever possible, I would love for you to, to get your contractor's license in one skill trade, because once you get your contractor's license, that's a that's a, a, a you take appliance repair and you multiply it by 10. <laughs> if you got your contractor's license, um, if you, you're ever able to get a contractor's license, because then you can, you can whatever you're doing in appliance repair, multiply it by 10 or 20, because now you're in a you're in an area where you, you, you ain't gonna get no competition and you and you you uh, and, and the competition is locked out and you, you got it. And, and once you get there, uh, it's, it's, it's a totally different ball game. Uh, you know, people, uh, people don't have a choice. They have to come to you. You know, um, uh, you know with appliance repair, 
they they can they got a choice. They uh, they can try to fix it themselves or this and that. It's against the law <laughs> for them to try to fix it themselves or against the law for them to call their uncle to come fix it. Uh, uh, and a lot of the a lot of supply houses, especially HVAC, HVAC man, they run that like the mob. Uh, if you ain't got no contractor's license, they won't let you walk in the door. Uh, they they ain't gonna sell it to you. Uh, so yeah, so uh, and with us because we got EPA certification and we do refrigeration, they let us come in and buy stuff. If you go there and you got your shirt on and uh, you got your shirt with logo on and you got your EPA certification and stuff, and they say okay, you good, they they let you in. Um, but yeah, uh, if you get contractor's license, if you ever get a chance to get contractor's license, uh, yeah, that's uh, uh, that that that's a totally different game. All right, Maurice Anderson. Uh, okay, top of third. A lot of us take skills like this and make them hustles. We rarely make them into actual businesses. Yeah, it, it, I think in the past, but uh, right now, um, I can't say that for these guys coming from appliance boot camp. Uh, these guys are actually turning into some um, major businesses. They make a major move. They're thinking four or five years out. Uh, they're not thinking I'm just gonna make enough money get me uh, get me a bass boat or, or get me a motorcycle or Mustang. <laughs> they're thinking four or five years out, and they they actually uh, they they got business plans written out. They got uh, they 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 got marketing plans. They got uh, they're bringing in uh, uh, they got job job uh, uh, SOPs. They got. No, nah, these guys now they, they're actually looking at it because they're coming in as a as a, a much more mature individual. Where uh the, the guys and, and the young ladies that are coming in now uh to appliance boot camp, they they realize what they have, they realize what they have stepped on to, and they're not taking it for granted. Uh, because uh, most of the time, like I say, they're coming in 35 and older, and they a lot of people know, hey, this is this might be my last chance at bat, and um, I gotta make it work. Or they're coming in and they say, hey, um, uh, you know, people work harder for their kids than they do for themselves. They're saying, hey, I got to do something for my kids, my grandkids, my nephews. I, I got to get something in place for them. I don't want them to go through the stuff I went through. And then they, they, they really are focused. And that's why I talk about with the man making those transitions in life. And he have a bigger, he have a larger perspective on life where now it's not about him. It's not about just him making enough money to, uh, to, to, to get things the, uh, just for himself, he's actually now thinking of his fellow man and thinking more of his uh, his, uh, his cousins and brothers and stuff like that, because uh, he's now became into a man where he's actually now thinking more of his community and, uh, and and being more of an asset to his community. Okay, Maurice Anderson, I'm trying to get the HVAC contractor license without the five years experience. If you figured it out, let us know, because uh, yeah, because uh, yeah, let us know. Uh, Ernest Anderson. Uh, uh, Dr. Ben, uh, how many of you on here know who Dr. Ben was? I think pretty, uh, you'd be surprised. Uh, we have a, well, that's another thing too. Um, the, the, the group, uh, appliance boot camp and everybody else, uh, they, 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 um, they're very well educated and, um, you know, you attract, you attract, uh, people with your message and, and, and when people listen, they listen to me talk or they listen to what I do or see what I do. They'll, they'll know, okay, he, 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 they, they, if they've read, like, doc, uh, they've listened to Dr. Ben, read Dr. Claude Anderson, and all those people's stuff, they'll hear pieces of that come out of me, and, and that resonate with them. They say, okay, I, I know that cat, and, and, and he, he's saying something I've heard before, and so then that's when they, uh, that's, when, that's when they start to listen more, more to the message, um, and that's how they know then that not, it's, it's not just a lot of fluff, you know, it's somebody who actually have maybe uh, listened or studied to that to the, the these greats, and now he's actually trying to implement it and see if it works. And that's how, that really that's what I'm doing. Um, I I I I've studied them, and and um, uh, it's one thing for us to constantly talk about Dr. Ben, talk about Dr. Claude Anderson, and all them. It's another thing to actually take their information and see if it actually works. And that's what we're doing. And um, and it right now we get to a point. Where we might see, hey, we might have, we might be the ones that have to have to be the next generation to actually uh, step in and make sure that uh, that we we have a a, a financial backing to, to maybe pull some of these kids and stuff out of jail or whatever they're doing. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Um, okay. Uh, 
Patrick Young, I thought everyone knew who Dr. Ben was. Not everybody. Um, some, um, most, not everybody. Not everybody, but uh, uh, some people do. A lot of people here do. Uh, Dr. Ben should be studied by uh, us all. Yeah, Dr. Uh, Dr. Ben. Um, you, you have to you have to be ready to receive a, a lot of a lot of a lot of that information. You gotta be ready to receive. You got you got to be in a you got your mind got to be in a spot where you are ready to receive. Um, and and if if you if your mind is not there, where you you really ready to receive and actually think, versus uh, uh like if I, if I wasn't if I I listen I, I've listened to Doctor Ben I can listen to anybody. If anybody got some information they want to tell me, I, I'll listen to them and I can decipher if it's real or not or, or where they're coming from. But if I, I was to take take Dr. Ben to my um, parent, to my mom, um, or any other my other family, they don't want to hear it. They, they, oh no, I ain't gonna hear that because uh, what he's saying is uh, is, is the devil. You no, know, that they, they'll say stuff like that and. And they don't want to hear anything that he would have to say. So you have to get to a point where your mind is ready to receive it. You know, just like I say, um, in and uh, your mind is like a uh, it's like a uh, it's like a field. You know, whatever you plant in there, it's gonna grow. Um, but before you plant something into a field, you got you got to actually prepare to prepare to prepare the land to receive it. And that's where your mind is at. You got to you got to diss up all that stuff that you you were taught. And all that stuff that you believe, all that stuff gotta be dissed up and and and, and, and put away, and then you gotta start putting um, real knowledge in your head. And you start putting real knowledge in your head, then it'll start to grow, and you 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 you'll be good. But you um you you gotta you you can't, you can't be somebody who who uh who uh, uh who, who who don't want to don't want to who 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 who's gonna reject any and every inf piece of information while hearing it out. You no, know, I, I I listen to anybody. You no. Know, Matter of fact, I, 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 it don't matter to me what you believe. I, I, I'll listen to you, and then I'll make a decision. No. All right, uh, Patrick Young, Mike, Dr. Claude Anderson, Dr. Amos Wilson have already given us the uh, blueprints for uh, Black Power. Yeah, uh, they they have. And like I say, this is um, it's not just uh, it's not just Black Power, um, but it, it's the it's the way society it's it's the way society operates. Uh, uh, it's not just black power. It's the way society operates, um, and unfortunately, not only us have we, we caught the blunt end of it. <laughs> we caught the we 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 caught the blunt end of it. But there's a lot of uh, uh, those Caucasian guys and, and other races who 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 got caught in that web too. That's out there fighting because they got caught out there with those crazy student loans. They got caught out there and um, and can't find no job. They they got caught out there. And uh, and 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 the, the lost all their uh, the parents' land and and uh, and somebody done swindled them out of their trust fund. They done got caught out there, um, at, uh, believing in, in in all this crazy mess that people put out there. And they're out there fighting for that too. Uh, so it's not just us. A lot of them are out there caught in there just like just like we got caught in it. I admit we might catch the we might have caught the bigger brunt of it because we had we've had um, we had quite a few. Uh, non-African Americans that come through Applies Boot Camp, Applies Boot Camp for everybody. And uh and it worked for them just as well as it worked for everybody else. And I get I get messages from them saying thank you and this and that because they was in just as bad a shape as we were in. Uh so uh so they know the flight that we we we, we caught and 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 it, it worked for them and pull them out. So yeah so it uh it works for everybody um uh, but I, I will say uh, we caught the blunt end of it, and it, it really, it really done us a, a real bad of it. Um, and those guys, are then those guys, they actually show tells you how civilizations and and communities and stuff are built. And unfortunately, we we haven't had that in our community uh, in a long time. But we actually had real leaders, and and leaders don't you can't have just one person lead. You can't have just one person lead. Like now, I, I hardly ever get in the chat much now, and I. I, I hardly ever go to uh, uh, to the appliance boot camp or Facebook and answer questions. Sometimes I might jump in and there, but I, I read all the questions. I read everything that comes through. But now, if something was to happen to me, it's it's twenty or thirty people in here that, that can step right in and tell y'all exactly how to do this thing. I don't need to be here anymore. So if something happens to me, it's, it's, if we got twenty or thirty people that have came through appliance boot camp, they'll start right up and keep going. Um, Lamar already has started. Um, uh, what's we we'll call uh, Miss Miss Rochelle? Uh, 
she she's out here uh, uh miss ward is, is out here developing technician dcnf developing technician slick and them developing tech. so it, uh, uh juan got technicians so it, uh, mike got technicians and they, they they jump in and they answer more questions than anything when, when the people got questions they jump in and they answer questions um it's just i don't I, no. that's what he's supposed to be it ain't supposed to just be me it's supposed to be all of them, and 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 they doing a, a they doing a lot more appliance repair and a lot more of the business end than I'm doing in appliance repair. All I'm doing now is just teaching uh, teaching the course. As far as out there day to day and, and grinding, they 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 a lot more at it than I am because I'm not out there every day. They they better at it right now with uh, interacting with the customers and and putting their stuff together. They they finding new tools and and and. And, and and new apps and stuff because I, I'm not out there day to day and trying to grow my business like they are. So they 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 have, they're actually better at it than I am. If you look in, you look at their uniforms, my God, the 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 the, the, the colors and the schemes and the logos and 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 the and and, 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 the, and that's another thing too. When they say uh, you know the African American uh, or, or 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 people for uh, not 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 caring about. Uh, how they show up to your house that's a lie i'm looking they're they they looking they the people getting their shirts and stuff and they don't like the fabric and they say my fabric look too cheap I, I don't like that the logo good but i'm saying in the back because they sent me a cheap polo so yeah these these these, these people are they, they, from everything from the, the from the vehicle to to their uh to their uniform to 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 how everything that they, they're, they're making sure that it's on point and 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 they're they're out here um out here uh, doing it and like i say and they the ones who telling people who to go where to go get the logos from they the ones you see it in the chat they telling people hey go check this website out check this out um because they, they're doing it every day and that's the way you want it you want it to be you want it to be where you can't find a head just like everybody saying who who, who who pushing these people telling them what to do hey they they know they everybody's on code they ain't, you ain't got to tell any, tell anybody everybody got the code and they know what works they go okay uh okay uh, <laughs> uh believe it or not uh believe it or not there are quite a few well-trained militia groups that will give law enforcement a run for their money it's crazy yeah it is it is uh steve uh jamerson it's funny they want us to listen to t out of rubber band man yeah it is that's why i say uh where taylor swift and, and lady gaga pull them out let them let them talk to the uh to to people <laughs> uh but yeah, yeah, uh, BK from Rocky, yeah, it is. Um, uh, they have uh, quite a few military groups that uh, that they uh, that they give the policemen a run. And like I said, this group right here, hey man, I, I give my hats off to them because they 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 kick the they, they, they right now they kicking the police butt. They kicking the they, whenever the the president of the United States have to actually uh, go into the bunker because he think that the White House is going to get overrun. Um, and when they, when they got to get the governor out of town, because these guys, uh, with no guns or nothing, uh, coming at you, uh, they, 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 they pretty thorough. Okay. They got, um, all right. So I think that's it for right now. My Patreon, Mike, just like you were talking about T.I. and Killer Mike line. Well, I got tired of preaching lies, <laughs> preachers lies. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, and let me think. It, it's it's some it's it's it, it, it's not it's some good ministers that's uh that's out there that um uh, that really try to do what's right. Um, but um, it's kind of like what Frederick Douglass said. Um, it's hard to uh it's hard to have an educated it's, it's hard to have an educated minister um uh, to to minister to an uneducated congregation, and that's the same thing that W. E. B. Du Bois saw when he wrote his book Souls of Black Folks. He said, "No, when the minister goes off and they send him off, uh, you send this guy off to get educated and 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 come back and minister. Well, now he's no good because uh, the people he's ministering to, they don't want to. Uh, they don't want to. They don't want the knowledge. They want the hooping and the hollering, and uh, uh, and that's what they care more about uh, the emotional stuff. They don't care about the knowledge. And and so this guy now he's changed. You know? uh, so when he's changed like he is now." He, he, he can't, he, he can't, he, you can't do that anymore. You, once you become changed and you, you, you get knowledge and stuff, you, 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 you can't do it anymore. And you are now you, you're trying to give people knowledge 
and um, the, the, the congregation is not ready to receive it. So now you get to a point where the preacher is no good for the congregation. The congregation is no good for the, uh, for the people. Uh, so now you have to watch what call you have uh, the, that preacher. Uh, a lot of times, like W. Du Bois said, he ended up being an alcoholic because he, he didn't fit in with the uh, with the with the with his people because now he was too much educated than they were, and then he can go over and minister, uh, do anything with the uh, with the other races because they wouldn't take him because he was African American. And the same thing W. Du Bois said, you know, same thing when he was saying you need to, um, when he was talking about learn skilled trades or die or starve, he was saying, you know, you send somebody off to um, be a lawyer. Uh, when he come back, um, African-Americans, uh, 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 they won't get him because uh, they know if he goes to court <laughs> that uh, the court stacked against him, he's not going to win. And so they know if he can't win, then they'll go to the uh, they'll go to the actual uh, uh, Caucasian uh, uh, lawyer, and then the Caucasian people not going to use him because he's African American. So now he got a law degree but can't practice law, and, and he ended up. Uh, that's why they said um, uh, Ivory League schools the more uh, uh, African uh, African Americans than cheap liquor. Because what happened? They go there, they no good for anybody then. Versus now, you all come here. And y'all learn appliance boot camp. Uh, appliance boot camp, you can go right back to your before you get home, your community be calling you to uh to come fix stuff. Um uh, it, it, it's, it's never a time where my community has not called me to, to come fix something. Uh and, and you become the, the, the you become the, the, the in your community, you become the, the the key person that everybody looks to to fix their appliances. And then it, it moves from the appliances. I mean anything. They'll call you for a vacuum cleaner. They'll call you, call you for a hot water heater. Everything that you become the guy who can fix anything, and your family, you get labeled that in your family, your whole community, and everybody start calling you to come fix everything. And then you, uh, uh, the other thing too, you you can't you can't be blackballed um, because uh, regardless of what you, can, you can, your people can actually call you. You know, so if, if one group of people don't want to use your services, the, the other group of people will, because because they got the same needs and stuff that you you gotta have. So uh, you can't be blackballed. You can always make your money, and uh, and that's what that's what he he figured that out, and a lot of people have figured that out. And so, and not only do we need just appliance repair guys, we need to get across all the skilled trade. You know, we got we got we right now our group is 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 the is the uh, actually uh, sustain the people. Get them, get them in, but uh, the next group coming in behind us, our, our sons and grandkids and stuff like that, they the ones we got to start pushing into some of the other skilled trades uh, where it requires licenses. We need to be pushing them to be plumbers, electricians, welders, all those things, and we need to start um, maybe putting something in place where uh, they 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 have to have some gateway for them to get in. Uh, we gotta have a way to get them to, to get them in, so they not they won't be locked out anymore. So they can actually then once we get them in at a young age, and and at a young age once they get the license, hey, then they can license our businesses too. And then you now not only are you doing appliances, but you're doing appliances and plumbing, appliances and HVAC, appliances and and all of that. And you got a license, and then we pass it on to your son. Now he he has the license, and when his son come or nephew, he'll make sure that you know uh, he got the hours he need to actually keep it moving, and then then we're good. Okay, I'm gonna read a couple more. Then we left. We're gone. Uh, Ernest uh, Anderson. Uh, I left four years ago after wrestling with it for a while. In the summer. Oh oh uh uh wow! In the seminary, the professors would teach you the truth. And tell you to preach the opposite to the people. Oh wow, sorry to hear that, man. Um, uh, DCNF, uh, they keep calling me for TVs, but I have to turn them down. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody call you for any. They call you for any and everything. Um, but uh, that, that's that's good. That's good. That's good. Once again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Um, I ran a little longer today. Um, uh, this week I'm gonna actually finish adding in the actual. Uh, seal system webinar that we have and I'll put that up on teachable um, also I'm gonna actually uh, finish up the actual uh, I got I got like two more uh, modules I'm gonna put up videos I'm gonna put up for the seal system I'm gonna put one with the truck where I'm actually gonna outfit the truck how, how, how I outfit the truck 
and then we're going to put one in for actually charging. Um, talking to WWH back, he gave us a lot of good information on how you bill out to the warranty companies and still stay within your uh, budget rate uh, when they want to do stuff like uh, give you uh, $200 to replace a, a compressor. He told us how, because uh, they want to do them the same way, he told us how to actually get around that. So I'm going to put that in the video and, and get that information out there too. Um, so all that stuff be there. And like I say, uh, probably uh, tomorrow, either tomorrow or Wednesday, you'll be able to uh, pre-order that SEAL system course. Um, after I finish editing everything in there, um, you, the price is going to go up. You can be able to pre-order it for like $200. After I get done, it's going to go all the way up. And uh, and it's for people who want to do SEAL systems. Uh, once again, thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, if you hadn't already in the description, you can uh, go to Appliance Bootcamp. You can purchase uh, Appliance Bootcamp. Um, we got the hands-on event coming um, about August the 15th and 16th and August 22nd and 23rd. Uh, once again, uh, thank you all again for watching, and I'll see you all on, thir on Thursday.